because the Lord was coming. When the Lord came, he would give us what we needed to get back in a right relationship with God. Mm -hmm. Jesus says, from the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom suffereth violence, and the violent take it by force. All of the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if ye will receive it, if you're able to understand what I'm telling you, Jesus says, John is that Elijah which was to come. Oh, he was more than just a mere man. He was more than just a man walking around with camel hair and eating wild locusts and honey in the wilderness. He was more than just a strange fella standing out there hollering to the masses that they need to repent because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. No, Jesus says this is that Elias that was to come before the Messiah, the one who came to prepare the way for the great day of the coming of the Lord. And so when we look at who John the Baptist was and his purpose or his role in God's plan of redemption, he was the messenger coming before the Messiah. But what was John's message? It was simple. What did God want him to say? It wasn't hard for you to understand. John said, repent for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. In Mark chapter three, in Matthew chapter three, in Matthew chapter three and beginning at verse number one in those days came John the Baptist preaching in the wilderness of Judea and saying, repent ye, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. In Luke's account, Luke gives us, in Luke chapter 3, Luke tells us that when John told the folk to repent, that there were some people who wanted to know what they needed to repent of. In Luke chapter 3, and beginning at verse number 7, the Bible says, Then said he to the multitude, that came forth to be baptized of him, O generation of vipers, who have warned you to flee from the wrath to come. John says, bring forth therefore fruit worthy of repentance, and begin not to say within yourselves, we have Abraham to our father. He says, for I say unto you that God is able of these stones to raise up children unto Abraham. He says, and now also the acts is laid to the root of the trees. Every tree, therefore, which bringeth not forth good fruit, is hewn down and cast into the fire. And the people asked him, saying, What shall we do then? He answered and said unto them, He that hath two coats, let him impart to him that hath none. And he that hath meat or food, let him do likewise. Uh -huh. Then came also the publicans to be baptized. And they said to him, Master, what shall we do? And he said to them, Exact no more than that which is appointed unto you. In other words, don't cheat anybody anymore. Amen. When if you're going to repent, you've got to change the way you've been doing some things. Amen. If you're going to be right with God, you've got to change some practices. You've got to change some mindsets so that you can be in a place where God can use you. Right. Oh, and the soldiers likewise demanded of him, saying, And what shall we do? And he said unto them, Do no violence to any man. Neither accuse any falsely, and be content with your wages. And the Bible says, and as the people were in expectation, all men muse in their hearts of John, whether he were the Christ or not. Mm -hmm. Oh, John had a message for the people of God. Mm -hmm. It was repent, because the kingdom of heaven is at hand. Mm -hmm. If I could just lay it in your lap tonight, John was saying, y'all need to change, mm -hmm. because the Messiah is on his way here. But not only did John tell the folk to repent, for the kingdom of heaven is at hand. But another reason why God sent John before Jesus, it was to rebuke those who refused to repent. Oh, when you look at Mark chapter 6 and beginning at verse number 16, we're introduced to the fact that John the Baptist confronted Herod about his illicit relationship with his brother's wife. The Bible explains unto us in that Mark chapter 6, and beginning at verse number 16, that the Bible says, But when Herod heard thereof, 
He said, it is John whom I beheaded. He is risen from the dead. For Herod himself hath sent forth and laid hold upon John and bound him in prison for Herodias' sake, his brother Philip's wife, for he had married her. For John had said unto Herod, it is not lawful for thee to have thy brother's wife. Yeah. Oh, John stood flat foot and told Herod what he needed to hear. It may not have been what Herod wanted to hear, but it was what Herod needed to hear. Amen. And when John stood firm on what he knew to be right with God, oh Herodias, when her daughter danced before Herod on his birthday, and Herod promised her he'll give her whatever she wanted unto the half of his kingdom, her mother encouraged her to ask for the head of John the Baptist. And he went and beheaded John because of this woman's request. John stood for what was right and lost his head behind it. But John still stood. John didn't change his message because death was pending unto him. Not only did John tell the folk to repent, but John rebuked people when they refused to repent. But then lastly, the role of John the Baptist as the forerunner, as the one coming before the Messiah, John was to help the people recognize who the Messiah was. Oh, in John chapter 1, in the gospel, according to John chapter 1, there was some people who wondered, was John himself the Messiah? In John chapter 1 and beginning at verse number 6, the Bible says, And there was a man sent from God whose name was John. The same came for a witness, to bear witness of the light. All men through him might believe. The Bible says he was not that light. He was sent to bear witness of that light that was the true light that lighteth every man that cometh into the world. Bible says he was in the world and the world was made by him and the world knew him not. Mm -hmm. Talking about Jesus now. Right. He came unto his own and his own received him not. Mm -hmm. But when you drop down to verse number 19 Bible says, and this is the record of John, when the Jews sent the priests and the Levites from Jerusalem to ask him, who art thou? And he confessed and denied not, but confessed, I am not the Christ. John told them plainly, I'm not the man you've been looking for. I'm not the one that you are expecting. John said, I am not the Christ. They asked him, what then? Are you Elias? And he said, I am not. Art thou that prophet? And he answered, no. Then said they unto him, who art thou? That we may give an answer to them that sent us. They said, John, what would say of thou? of thyself. He said, I am the voice of one crying in the wilderness. I'm just a man that's coming with a message. My message is make straight the way of the Lord. I said the prophet Isaiah. He says, and they which were sent of the Pharisees. And they asked him and said unto him, why Baptizes thou then, if thou be not the Christ, if you're not the Messiah, then why are you baptizing people? Uh, neither if you're not Elias or the prophet. But John answers saying, I baptize with water. But there standeth one among you who you don't even know. He said, here it is who's coming after me is preferred before me whose shoe latches I am not worthy to unloose. John said I am just preparing the way 
for somebody greater who's going to come after me. And John said,